I came across IcoFont recently and thought it would be great to use it for print design, but I couldn't find a tutorial online, so I thought I'd make one. Here goes. Now click on your browser and navigate to uh, IcoFont. And it's IcoFont.com. It will take you to their website and go up to the download link on the top right click on that you will see all the categories of the font listed click on the download link and after a few seconds it will appear as a downloaded item you can see it here at the icofont.zip folder on a mac i'm going to navigate to my downloads folder because that's where downloads are stored I'm going to show it in the finder. And once I do that, I can see the Ico font that's downloaded. It's a zipped file, so to unzip it, I'm going to double click on it. And the Mac operating system will create a unzipped folder called Ico font. And inside that folder will be two subfolders, CSS and fonts. Since I will not be using this for web items, I'm going to click on the fonts subfolder and inside that I will see four font types. The one that interests me is the icofont.ttf, that's the true type font. I'm going to install this one to my local operating system. On a Mac, you can just double click on the font and it will open up a little window. And from there on the bottom right, you can select install font. Once you do that, it will install the font in the user folder in the font book uh, option. Now that I have that installed, I'm going to close font book. By the way, on a PC, uh, you can do the very same thing. I think you may have to right click on the actual uh, font and then click install from the options that appear. Anyway, now that I have IcoFont installed, I'm going to close my finder here and I'm going to use IcoFont. Let me move this browser window to the right and I am going to open up InDesign. So click on my finder here and type in InDesign. Uh, I'm going to open that up. Click on uh, File, New Document. I'm going to accept the defaults for my new document and click on OK. I'm going to draw a text box. So I'll grab the text tool here and draw a quick text box. And in there, I am going to use my Ico font as a bullet or um, a glyph or whatever. To do that, just go back to your browser and click on the all icons option in IcoFont. And in this case, I want to use the bathtub icon. So I'm, I'm going to click on it just once. And when I do, it opens up a little bar at the bottom. I'm going to highlight just the bathtub icon here. I'm going to press Command C on my keyboard, or you could alternatively just right click and select copy. Either one works. Then I'm going to come to my InDesign application, click in my text box. Then I'm going to right click in the area and select paste. Alternatively, you could just click Command V and it would paste the icon in your text box. Once that's done, I am going to highlight this icon and come up to the font options in InDesign and type in Ico font and immediately you'll see this font appear. I'm going to click on it and it will convert that icon you saw earlier into the correct IcoFont version. To make it bigger, I'll just highlight it and click on my font size and change it to something bigger. And if I want to change the color, I can highlight it and go over to my swatches panel and select whatever color I deem appropriate. Once I click in a blank area, I will see the new color. Now, what if I don't have internet access at all times and I want to use IcoFont? Well, in that case, it would be helpful to have 
all these icons available to you at all times. And to do so is really easy. Uh, all you got to do is make sure that you're on the all icons option. So you click on that and all the icons will appear as you can see here. Now to get these in printed form, just find a blank area and then right click and select print from the menu option. Once that opens up, make sure you select uh, the PDF as your option. And once that's selected, then hit uh, the save button and it will save the 29 pages to your local computer. So click save and it will download it to my downloads folder. And I'll just leave it as is. Ico font, well, let me change it to Ico font all, all icons uh, dot PDF. And I'll save it in my Ico font folder. I'm going to click on the save button and there it is. Now I'm going to close this web browser and I'm going to navigate to my downloads and click on go and downloads. And when that opens up, here are my downloads. Here's the icofond folder and inside that folder is the PDF I just downloaded. Double click on it to open it up and the fonts will open up. I'm going to change it to something smaller so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to close this window here. All right, so now I've got my Ico fonts listed in here, uh, all of them. And let's say I want to use this Apple logo, for instance. I can now select that and press Command C on my keyboard to copy it. Come over to my InDesign, skip to the next line and Command V and it will automatically show up. Now the reason it displayed correctly is because Ico font was still selected. If for some reason it was not, I would just simply highlight and choose the Ico font from here. Now I'm going to change the color to something uh, like, like so. All right. Well, um, by the way, you're not restricted to using only InDesign to uh, display your Ico fonts. You can use Photoshop or Microsoft Word or just about any application that will accept uh, text. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, have a great day.